Welcome to Faith Revival Holiness Synagogue Parish and Church. I'm Minister and Prophet M.G. Mays. Welcome. A servant of the Father God and servant of Yeshua, or the Lamb of God, the Spirit of God. Um, let's pray. Father, we thank you. Now, we thank you that we're, we're going to learn more of than we ever have before about meek. You know, just like a horse is meek and lets a rider on, let's, 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 uh, and that horse um, uh, becomes famous and, you know, runs the derby and, and, and gets first place and, you know, Look at there, famous, famous track course, you know. But, so we're going to learn a lot about meek today. And we thank you and praise you, Father, and Yeshua. Amen. All right, today um, we're doing the the, uh, the Flourish series, the mini-series. Uh, today's um, title uh, sermon is called Mini-Series, Middle Class Mindset. Middle class mindset, okay? Just bear with me on this, because this is where God wants His people, all His people. He created us in His image and likeness. And then, unfortunately, there's times when we become poor, and it's not because God wants it that way, it's because it happens. And there's people that are really stinking rich, and look at all of them. It's, you can't find very many of them that wind up um, going back to God and the people. They go back to their riches for God and, and, and you know, the stuff is their friends. And so, but God God really does have us in, in, in the mind of, of a middle class mindset that we should have in our life. Even when you're poor, you, you know, pick yourself up, have that, that, that mindset. I'm going to go accelerate and be uh, and and keep that uh, middle class mindset, no matter what. Even even when you have you you get poor and, and and things happen, don't give up the dream. God doesn't want you to, and and definitely John F. Kennedy didn't want you to either. And and you know, and his and his uh, nephew, you know, RFK Jr. You know, we got to keep the dream alive. The one that, that started that dream for us of being meek, of being middle class mindset is, is God Almighty himself. Amen. Alright. So um, Matthew chapter 5, 5. How blessed are the meek for they will inherit the land. Now God's saying we're going to inherit the land mindset, you know, they have land, you, have, you can't be poor. You know, you could be rich, but that's not really a good thing because, you know, as you know, can a rich man go to the eye of a needle? You know, a little slivery. All the riches they want to take with them and they can't do it. But God's called us to be a, a mindset of a middle class mindset. And we, you know, God's going to get us there, each one of us. Our Father, Yeshua, and Father uh, of the Creator. Amen. So let's go to uh, Psalm 37, 5 through 11. 5 through 11 of 37 of Psalms. Tehillim. Amen. So let's go over there. Don't give up. When it's hard, that means it's some more blessings down the road if you just keep on keeping on. Amen. Middle class mindset, amen. Commit your ways to Yah. Trust in Yeshua El Shaddai, and Yeshua El Shaddai will act. Yeshua, Yeshua El Shaddai will make your vindication shine forth like light, the justice of your cause like new day, son. Be still before Yah the Father. Wait patiently. Till Yeshua El Shaddai comes. Don't be upset by those ways to see be, because of their, their wicked plans of politicians. Stop being angry. Put aside rage. Don't be upset if it leads to evil. For the evildoer politicians will be cut off. But the hope in Yah will inherit the land. 
but the hope in Yah will inherit the land. What do we, where do we, that's kind of funny. No, I'm, I'm just being funny here. But think about this. Inherit the, where, where did we just hear that word? Oh yeah, Matthew chapter 5, verse 5. Yes. See, that's where we got to, you know, chime in there and pay attention to scripture a little more. And, I, and I enjoy the, the benefits thereof, you know. But those hoping in Yah will inherit the land. The meek will, what? Inherit the land. Same thing here. Soon the, the wicked politicians will be no more. And we said, Amen. And you will look and, and not find them. And, and they won't be there. And we say, Amen. But the meek, oh, hello, the meek will inherit the land. Amen. Middle class mindset. Amen. You can't stay in that, that poverty mindset forever. God's not called you to do that. Satan's trying to push us all down through, you know, the bad things, you know, others do or their leadership that should do better. And they, they would if, if they were right with God. They definitely would. There's no question there. And you will look for uh, their place and won't find them there. But the meek will inherit the land and delight themselves in the abundance of what? Peace. In the abundance of what? Peace. Shalom. Wholeness that brings us peace. Amen. God's promised us that. So we've got to believe. Have a childlike faith and say, okay, I'm going to believe. Even though it's a little bit bigger than me right now. But somehow, somehow God... Through Yeshua and the angels of God and an encouragement of one another, we're going to believe that. Amen. And that's all he's asking. Is this step out in faith. <laughs> that's the whole purpose of faith. You step out in faith. It's not something that's all together sometimes when you, have, when you believe in faith. It's just something you got to step out and you just do it by faith. You go to the store by faith knowing that somehow... The prices are going to be right, even though they're so high. And somehow you're going to survive the store, the grocery store, or survive doing what you got to do, you know. Amen. So uh, 1 Peter uh, chapter 3, verse 8 through 12, 8 through 12 of, of 3 of Aleph Kepha, 1 Peter. Amen. It says, finally, all of you be one in mind and feeling, love, love as brothers and sisters do, and be compassionate, humble-minded, not repaying evil for evil, like a lot of politicians do, or insult for insult, like a lot of the politicians do, but on contrary, with blessings, like Yeshua shows us. Like a lot of the biblical characters, like a lot of like Martha Luther King Jr. and 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 Robert F. Kennedy Sr. showed us in the past. For those that remember, not repaying evil for evil or insult with insult, contrary with blessing. For it is this that you have been called. Or so that you may receive the blessing. God wants you to receive a blessing. But you got to get with the program. That God has not called you to be poor. But to, to pick yourself with the bootstraps. And step in faith. Step in faith. God's going to get you there. One way or another. Amen. For whoever wants to love life sees good days, but must keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit like politicians do. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and chase after it just like, like Mother Mary did. For Yah keeps his eyes on the righteous, which means right standing or right relationship. And his ears on the open 
to their prayers. Yeshua is listening to your prayers. The Father God's relaying those prayers. Amen. But the face of Yah is against those who do evil things like the politicians and unlawful judges. Amen. And we all said amen on that one. All right, so let's go to Psalms 25, 8 through 14. 8 through 14 of 25 of Psalms. Tilim. Tilim. Amen. All right. And it says, Yeah, is good. And Yeshua El Shaddai is fair. This is why. Yeshua El Shaddai teaches sinners the ways to live. Amen. Are you listening, politicians? That Yeshua teaches the sinners the ways to live. Learn leads the humble to do what is right. Amen. Teaches the humble to live Yah's ways. And all Yah's path are grace and truth to those who keep Yeshua El Shaddai's covenant and instructions for the sake of Yah's name. Forgive, forgive him wickedness, great, great through it. Amen. God wants to forgive your wickedness, but you got to repent. If you repent, and turn to Yeshua and let him Work on you. Amen. Great things going to happen. Who is the person who reverence Yah? Yeshua Shaddai will teach him or her the ways to choose. Yeshua Shaddai will remain, will, you will remain prosperous. And your descendants will inherit the land. Hmm. Uh, inherit the land. There's a lot about inheriting the land, isn't there? Yeah, and that all ties in together. And and Yah relates intimacy with those who reverent Yeshua El Shaddai, and Yeshua El Shaddai makes them know Yah's covenant. You can't get away from them. They're both together. You know what? You ministers, you separate them too much. They're together. One God, one Spirit. They're meant to be, and, and throughout the scripture, they're together. They're, they're cozy. And they want us to be cozy with them too. Amen. God loves us, and Yeshua, where Yah is, there's Yeshua. And when Yeshua is around, Yah is not too far away. You know, even though He's in heaven, we, He's with us. Amen. God bless. So let's have a middle class mindset, basically meekness, knowing that God's in the cockpit of our life through Yeshua, and he, He's gonna He's gonna He's gonna take us from disaster to success, one way or another. Even if it's not maybe the success we thought, but we you know what? If you're better than you was yesterday, wouldn't you call that successful than you were yesterday? Sometimes we look at the, want to look at the big picture, but we don't look at the little pictures going towards the big picture that God has for our life. And those little strides forward, you got to enjoy them so when you can enjoy the whole thing when it comes about. Amen. God bless you. You know, and I love you. Now I want to pray for those that, are, that need to get born again and spirit filled. Pray this prayer. Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you for Father God. Yeshua, thank you for Father God. Yeshua, I, I thank you for what you did on the cross and resurrected on the third day and how you, you taught us great things and, and how we were going to apply those in our lives, all the days of our lives. I accept that you're the Savior. You're the priest, the priest, the, the, the minister of all ministers. Uh, the the uh, the master of all masters, the king of kings, the boss of all bosses, the president of all presidents, are Yeshua, and we thank you 
for, for how you have cleansed me right now. Pray that. How you cleanse me from all the, the mishaps and all the things that will happen. Because of what you did on the cross. You liberated me today. And I accept that. And I accept that your spirit, a man of well in me, and I accept that I'm, I'm born again, I'm spirit-filled. Thank you, Yeshua, for everything you did for me. Father God, amen. Congratulations, welcome to family God. Father, I pray for all that prayed that prayer. God bless them. May they get themselves a, a Bible that, that is uh, uh, biblical, is, is possible, and, and not a fly-by-night type of Bible. And uh, we thank you, Father, and we praise you, Father. Amen. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Hodas it brings peace to passes all in steady, none seven, none broken, complete peace be with you. The King of Peace, yeah, and the Prince of Peace, Yeshua be with you. Amen. God bless. God bless.